Since the mayor was elected by a large majority, Ms. Miller, your actions, oftentimes your antics, are very risky political moves for herself and others that go along with her. We need to stand and support our mayor. And if you have constructive criticism, bring it. But stop playing these silly little games that continue to destroy the people of the city. I, I think there's some people that are very well-meaning, like yourself, that did a great job at the Boys Club. And all these here people that are coming up tonight are testimonial, testimonials to your good work there. But there are some people that just shouldn't be in public office. I, I came here to ask you to resign, but after listening to everyone here, I'd like to give you a second chance. Oh. 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 Just giving you the benefit of the doubt. You guys are all the halves, the, the, the one taken everything from Stockton, and, and we're tired of it. The election should have told you. We voted him in. We want that man to be our mayor. And we don't want you guys trying to undermine him. But I especially want to thank Mayor Selma for um, his, his open uh, invite on Facebook, and I think that's one huge thing that uh, Mayor Selma does with the people. Um, is he communicates with the people and on Thanksgiving seeing them under the bridge, feeding the homeless, um, um, cleaning up graffiti, being with the kids. You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see Mary Silver and Kathy Miller cleaning up graffiti together. You know, I'd like to see you guys working together. Yeah. I've heard a lot here tonight and I got here at the beginning and I've listened to everybody. And we need to work together to start and stop all the politics and move this city forward. Thank you. Uh, I think you point two is put on the agenda at the request of the City Council. It is resolution of admonishment to be issued to the Mayor regarding his conduct and releasing confidential information from closed session discussions concerning the appointment of the City Council. The release of this information, while some may think it's a technical violation, but I promise you I acted in good faith. Someone has referred this as a witch hunt. But I am working every day at trying to solve the City's problems and addressing their concerns. I am not focusing on things that don't exist. We should be focused on finding the best candidate to fill the role of city manager, not creating more discord. At the worst case, this will, found, this will find um, to be a highly technical error, or according to some attorneys, no violation was committed at all. I'm not one to lie, but I'm not one to crucify. So for me, I'd rather have somebody from outside look in um, and, and take a look before I plan on admonishing. So. If I'm, you know what I mean, Anthony Silva's, you know what, or you know what I mean, or I was, I've been in politics a while, so everyone says I'm somebody else's minion, which I'm perfectly capable of making my own decisions. A press release <coughs> was issued hours before, and council was engaged in good faith in um, negotiating, and the press release went ahead and was allowed to be made public while we were still actively involved in negotiations. I think we're past the point of whether or not a violation of the Brown Act occurred. I think that's not in dispute. What is in front of us right now is how do we deal with it? There are some who would prefer that we simply ignore the matter and just sweep it under, under the rug. But I ask you, is it a distraction to deal with a violation of the law? Okay, let's do this. Okay. I don't mind. We have a motion and a second. Let's just let's approve this. All in favor? The motion carries five to two with Council Member or with Mayor Silva and Vice Mayor Canada decision. 